<laughs> Morning. Morning, Lonzo. I'd say I'm surprised to see you're up first, but I'm not. Early bird and the worm is all. Right. You always seem to be a step ahead of everything. I suppose that's a part of my nature. Here for some coffee. I just brew the fresh pots. Thanks. I'd appreciate that. You got anything planned for the day? Me? No. I was talking to the fridge. Oh, I I just have work a little later. I see. You're still looking into your reapers? Yep. I dug up something earlier and I'm going to follow up with a lead to see if my hunch is right. I hope that doesn't translate to you going out and finding trouble. Of course not. I already promised your other half that I would be careful. If this does go anywhere, then I'll report my findings over to the police. Just be careful, then. I will. You're looking at me. I'm not. I can feel your eyes, Alonzo. You're not as sneaky as you think. Maybe you're imagining it. Cut the crap, Alonzo. Sorry. I just don't think I've ever seen you like this. Like what? Well, normal. You've seen too many movies if you think everyone wakes up with nice hair and makeup every morning. No, no. It's not that. It's like I said, you're always put together and... Yes. Regal? I'll take Regal. Regal. You just appear perfect most of the time, so it's nice to see you like this. It reminds me that you're a human. This ain't the first time I've been to your place like this. That's true, but even then, you just seemed like you were above me. It's kinda intimidating. Don't you think it's been too long for you to be scared of me, Alonzo? Well, I'm not scared of you. Look me in the eyes and repeat that. <laughs> uh... Like I said, you don't have to be scared of me. You're dating my spouse. If I didn't kill you when you asked them out, I'm not gonna do it now. You wouldn't actually kill me, right? That ain't the point, Lonzo. I'd argue that's a very important point. Ugh. Why do you think I'm frightening? I said you were intimidating, not scary. Why do I intimidate you then? Well, I guess... I... I don't know. You just have an aura, and it's a vibe, but I can't really figure it out with you staring at me like that. I'm sorry. I'm being pushy. This ain't the kind of talk we should be having in the morning. I don't mind having the conversation, Uriah. I just don't know how to put it. Try. I always figured this was a joke, but if you're actually scared of me, I won't fix that. It's not your fault, Uriah. Even so, you're a part of my family. I want you to be comfortable enough to be around me, because otherwise, what are we doing? That's fair, I guess. You remind me a lot of my parents. How so? They just always seemed perfect. 
I could hardly make a mistake around them without being reminded how it reflected on them. They wanted me to be everything, and for a while, I wanted to be that too. But then I wanted to be me, and they didn't like that. What happened? They told me to get out. If I was going to be a disappointment, then they didn't want me to be here to remind them of it. Um, sorry to hear that. The thing is, I get why they said it. They moved here from Japan hoping that their daughter would be a lawyer. And then it turns out they actually had a son, and he wants to go into journalism. It wasn't exactly what they had planned, and if I were them, I'd feel like I failed too. Alonzo, look at me. You ain't a failure. Sure, you don't know when to shut up. I don't understand a single thing you say sometimes, and I really hate your jokes. You hate my jokes? Once more, not the point. You're kind. You're dedicated to your work. You see the best in others and you bring it out in them. I've seen you with my spouse and you make them want to be the best version of themselves for you. I apologize if I've made you feel otherwise. No, it's, it's not that. You've never made me feel like that directly. I see you all the time, and you just look sorry for you overusing the word perfect. It makes me feel like I have to be that too, or else I won't be good enough. Good enough for what? For them. If you're here and you're here with them and you're like this, then what am I here for? I just feel like if I don't measure up, then soon enough, they'll see that, and... Alonzo, you are more than enough for them. Frankly, the fact that you have not tried to kill them already puts you above the bar of their standards. You've said a lot of concerning things today, and I really just want you to expand on that. I'm exaggerating there, but really, you're good enough. <laughs> that one in there forgets to put away their socks in the laundry basket and you think you need to fit a standard for them? That's fair. That's also not as bad as the amount of paperwork they leave on the kitchen table. Don't get me started on the mountains of pillows they keep pulling on the bed every chance they get. Why do they need all those pillows? Only the lower no. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for talking with me about this. Sorry it had to get to this point. No need to apologize. I'm just glad we had that talk. Same. If you do, however, hurt my spouse, I will murder you and use your body as fertilizer for my garden. Okay, but you say things like that, and I'm not supposed to be afraid of you? You've got nothing to be scared of if you don't got any plans of being a piece of shit. Don't you think that Sherlock would deal with me if I was, though? They tell me to forget about you and move on, because they'd care too much about you, and would rather not see myself get locked away for the rest of eternity. That's fair. You excited for the cookout? As the host, no. It's gonna be busy, and I have a lot of people to talk to and business to organize on the side. What about Azariah? I am excited. It'll be good to get to talk to some folks around here again. I'm surprised you're even throwing it with what's going on. This kind of thing's important around here. It's an expectation between myself and the community. And in a sense, it'll take the edge off of things. 
I, of course, adjusted it so that we wouldn't keep people out for too long and they can get home safely. But everyone needs to feel like this place still belongs to them. And if they don't feel like that, then I don't know. I think I get it. It's your way of checking up on people. I suppose. It'll give me a chance to lift some spirits. Morning, babe. Rest well? Good. You deserve it. I'm gonna go and get breakfast started. I can handle it. No, I'm making breakfast. My place, my kitchen. Meaning that your highness can sit down and let me cook. You really got some audacity talking to me like that. Learned it from the best. If you're the example that Alonzo's taken after, then I believe you two need to be separated for a while. Too late. Feeling clingy this morning. I did not abandon you. I am making breakfast. You are impossible to please. Give the man a break. In the meantime, you can spend some time with me on the couch while I read the news. You are a shameless whore. You know that? I do unfortunately like that about you. However, I am tired. And I'm sure Alonzo doesn't want us fucking on his couch. We have a bed. Please use it. See? Yes, I will graciously take you up on the offer to cuddle on the couch while we wait for Alonzo to finish breakfast.